Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to create an automatic table of contents in Microsoft Word. We will cover the essential steps to help you effortlessly construct one for your assignment or research thesis. To insert a table of contents, navigate to the References tab and choose a template from the provided samples. For this demonstration, we will select the second template, which we will customize later. Currently, the table of contents appears empty because the headings have not been defined using word styles. To rectify this, head to the Home tab and go to Styles. We will designate our headings as Heading 1, Heading 2, and so forth. It is crucial to define styles for each level, and save them for quick application. Remember, Heading 1 corresponds to Level 1, Heading 2 to Level 2, and so on. Next, we will apply the Heading 1 style to Level 1 heading text, and adjust its properties as needed. To streamline the process, and eliminate manual effort, let us make the numbering of our headings automatic. Currently, the numbering is done manually. Begin by selecting the heading text, and choose a numbering style. Once this style of numbering is selected for heading 1, you won't need to reselect this numbering style, for heading 2 and heading 3, Word will handle this automatically. Initially, the numbering might start from a different value, like 2 in this case. To ensure it starts from 1, go to, set numbering value, and adjust it accordingly. Now, let us customize the font type, size, and other settings for our headings. For example, we will use, Times New Roman, font type and a size of 16 for heading 1. Another important aspect is the hanging indent, which ensures all the text of the headings align neatly. Determine the appropriate value based on the length of your headings, for instance, 0.5, could be sufficient for our headings. Firstly, Right-click on Heading 1 in the Styles panel and choose Update Heading 1 to match selection. This ensures that any changes made to Heading 1 will be reflected across the document. Next, let us refine the hanging indent once more, but this time it will be set permanently for Heading 1, so you won't need to adjust it, again when applying this style to subsequent headings. Now, customize the font type, size, and other settings for Heading 2. After selecting the Heading 2 text, right-click on Heading 2 in the Styles panel and select Update Heading 2 to match selection. Repeat the same process for Heading 3. With styles defined for headings up to Level 3, it is time to apply them throughout the document. Simply select each heading and apply the appropriate style. Once all heading styles are defined and applied throughout the text, proceed to the Table of Contents section and select Update Table. Additionally, adjust the font type to Times New Roman to maintain consistency with the document's style. If you wish to include Heading 4, define and apply the style accordingly. Unlike the previous levels, Heading 4 normally does not require numbering. Navigate to Custom Table of Contents and modify the Show Levels value to 4 to ensure Heading 4 is included in the table. If you want to stick to this format of Table of Contents, you are good to go. For further enhancements to the Table of Contents appearance, to look it more appealing, let us continue with the video tutorial. Access the Custom Table of Contents option and click on Modify. Here, adjust the settings for each level, ensuring they reflect the desired appearance in the table of contents. Unlike headings within the text, maintain a consistent text size for all headings in the table of contents.
if you prefer to display chapters as chapter 1, chapter 2, and so on, define these headings in the style options. Remove numbering for chapters since they typically don't have numbers. However, refrain from updating this selection in the heading styles, as these chapter headings are less frequent. After making these adjustments, update the entire table of contents, to incorporate the changes. That concludes our guide, on creating a, table of contents, in Microsoft Word. If you encounter any questions or issues, feel free to leave them in the comments section. We will do our best to address them either through replies or by creating a new video tutorial, if necessary. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and give the video a thumbs up, if you found it helpful.